Toapayo might be the cheapest place to get your breakfast fix of nasi lemak and kopi o, while Bishan might serve up the most expensive breakfasts of kopi and wonton noodles. And that's based on the latest Makan Index from the Institute of Policy Studies. Now, that index looks at food prices to better understand cost of living and effects from the recent GST hike. Our researchers collected data in two rounds over the past six months. They looked at the cost of 18 common food and drink items across 826 hawker centers, kopitiams, as well as food courts. Now, for the cheapest meals, Topayo serves up a breakfast of nasi lemak and kopi o for just $2. The same amount buys you a plate of vegetarian bihun and a canned drink in Sambawang. And for $2.80 in Jurong East, well, you can wash down a bowl of fishbowl noodles with an iced Milo. Now, as for the most expensive meals in the Makan Index, a breakfast of wonton mee and kopi in Bishan, well, that could set you back by nearly $10. Now, prepare to fork out nearly $15 for chicken chop or biryani plus an iced Milo in Queenstown and Tampanese. The beverage that saw the smallest price hike is kopi, with a three cent increase, while the price of vegetarian bihun, that remained unchanged at $2. Among drinks, iced Milo, well, that saw the biggest price jump, up by 12 cents. Sliced fish soup with rice logged the biggest gain of 28 cents. Now, putting those numbers together, the cost of eating out three times a day at a hawker centre, a kopitiam or a food court, would come to an average of around $17 per person. Or oh, that's more than $500 a month. For half of the workers with secondary school or lower qualifications, the study says this cost would bite off at least a quarter of their monthly salary. Marcus Tan tells us more. Four days. Demetrius Tay is currently looking for work. The 20-year-old Institute of Technical Education graduate is studying for his polytechnic diploma. He's on a tight budget and he's feeling the pinch. I feel it's like quite stressful because as a student, you don't have a lot of time to work. So most of the time you have to so-called like figure out what you want to eat and like what you want to buy. Eating at the Hawker Centre remains the cheapest option, especially for Demetrius. To stretch what dollars he has, he goes for items that give him the calories he needs. For my food hacks, I'll usually find uh, foods that have like a large portion, but also uh, cost-effective. So maybe like uh, misoto, around like four dollars. Eating out every day will set the average Singaporean back some $500. That's about 12% of a university graduate's average income and about 20% for A-level and polytechnic diploma holders. But if you're an ITE graduate, eating out every day could also eat up to 25% of your monthly income. Singapore relies heavily on imported food. And as costs increase across the globe, some hawkers here are taking measures to keep prices low. At this hawker centre, budget meals are one way to go. There's at least one budget option for every stall. The operator also tries to secure cheaper ingredient suppliers for their tenants. Even though food prices or, or they may be experiencing inflation in terms of their food ingredient prices, we make sure that you know, we, we come up with initiatives to help them. So this could be from uh, general procurement, uh, it could be assisting them in a variety of um, other ways. Another FMB operator offers no questions asked free meals sponsored by other customers. The Pay It Forward scheme was first served up during the pandemic by several stores at the Hawker Centre. Today, it's the only store still doing it. I did heard that uh, quite a few of the customers will be abuse it. They will take from every single store. We still carry on because we feel that uh, why not since that Three years ago, we've been doing, we're trying our best to do what we can. The store also cooks for customers who live in rental flats, as well as those who are jobless. This way, they can spend and worry a little less about having a proper meal for the day.